It's similar to putting a puzzle together. I tell my students in my intro, introductory archaeology class, in fact, that archaeology is akin to putting a puzzle together where all the pieces are upside down. You're missing maybe most of them, and you don't know what the actual picture that you're trying to build is. My name is Dr. Corey Newlander, and I'm a assistant professor here in the Department of Anthropology and Sociology. Specifically, I'm an archaeologist, so among my various courses include archaeological field programs like this one. So this is the KU site. It is a prehistoric site on university property. It's a site that has seen some archaeological research 20 years ago or so by the previous archaeologists. And my students and I are back here trying to determine the spatial extent and the time depth of prehistoric occupation at this site. Previous research here suggests that there's occupation back to maybe 6,000 years ago or so. We're curious how extensive that is and if perhaps there's stuff even earlier here. That also is consistent with the kinds of arrow points, spear points that folks find walking the fields around Kutztown after plowing. The difference here is that we're trying to recover artifacts in context, not just from the surface after plowing, which allows us to more fully build the story of what people were doing here. Having this experience in the field I think is very useful for students who think they want to do archaeology, for students who think they want to do field research generally. The idea of doing archaeological field work sounds cool. You know, at some point it seems like everybody growing up wants to be an archaeologist or a paleontologist you know, perhaps second to being an astronaut or something like that. But doing archaeology in the field is hard work, and it's useful to know whether that's your cup of tea or not before you dedicate yourself to pursuing that as a career. Uh, my name is Caroline Fogarty. I'm a senior at Kutztown University. I'm an anthropology and history double major. Yeah, I've had Dr. Newlander uh, for a couple of classes before this. To be out in the field and to be able to learn from him um, and learn from someone who's been doing this for so long is just, it's just amazing the, that I have had this opportunity. I'm really, really thankful that um, I've gotten to see him work and have him teach me <laughs> how to do this without completely messing up, if that makes sense. The anthropology department here is just outstanding. You know, I, I think scientists are curious to know about the world, and archaeology has this ability to bring to light stories of the past uh, from before written records. Even in contexts where we have written records, archaeology has this ability to democratize the past because we recover artifacts that reflect everybody not just the folks who were important enough to write about at the time. And so this, there's this ability to build a fuller story of the past from doing archaeology. There's this inherent sort of curiosity about the past. And one of the great benefits of doing archaeology, it seems to me, is that we stand to learn how previous cultures solve challenges. There's lessons there. You know, and there's something um, valuable in, in seeing that sort of shared humanity, the shared struggle, the shared um, initiatives taken to overcome challenges of living in a society together, living in a social group. And it's, it's heartening to remember that and to learn from it, potentially.